Hi friends, it's Liz here. So today I have some quick um, projects that I have been making. Um, these are going to friends, but I wanted to share them with you. Um, I'm also going to show you a quick tip on using very large metal dies without a machine. And um, I hope you enjoy what I'm sharing today. Let's get started. Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I have some holiday themed crafts that I've been making for some friends um, and I'll be sharing those with you now. Um, these ones actually already have a tutorial that I will link below in the description box. And also please check my blog if you can't see the description box because I know many of you watch YouTube now on your TVs and you're not able to access um, you know, the drop down menu, etc. So check out my blog. I will have all the details and links there as well. LizThePaperProject.com. Okay, so <clears throat> as I said, I'm making these for some friends. And I don't know about you, but when I'm making things for my friends, I just love, love, love the moment. And so I thought I would make these into a holiday theme so I could share it with them. So I, like I said, I've made these before. So here I just added some... You know, I made some of the pieces just from having some paper punches. So, for example, for that the um, ornament, I just used my circle punch, and then for the um, snowflakes, I used this punch. If I have um, anything that you see here, I will also try and link it on my Amazon affiliate link. Let me just show you some of my favorite supplies there and things that I really enjoy using. Um, so, anyway, so you open it up. And then you've got lots of spaces to tuck additional pieces. So you've got a little spot in the center, like a belly band there. This one's got all the cute little, um, you know, pocket things that you can attach to it. And then on this side, you have a tuck spot behind the little envelope, which also has a little space for a note. Then you flip this down and then you have additional space to add ephemera. So the whole point of these or the idea behind these was you could add so much ephemera to them um, and then send them off, you know, in the mail. And then you flip it over and you've got another little hidden spot here. So I don't remember initially who had made these, but I know that I saw them on Gail's channel. And at the time when I did the other video, I believe I mentioned that. So I just wanted to to say that it's not my original idea but this is sort of what I've done since so I have another one here this one's um, a little bit plain and then I'm showing you how I've closed it because I want it to you know have easy access for it to be opened so similar things here for this one I used this paper punch and then of course I did you know similar little themes there so again, you open it up. This one, I didn't fill it with anything. So I just wanted to show you, this is the belly band. This is a little pocket. Again, another little tuck there, tuck here. And then you've got the back. These are so fun and easy to make, less than an hour. And you can share them with family and friends. Okay, now I'm going to show you the next one. This also has a tutorial already. Uh, but I did make this one in a holiday theme um, just so you can see, you know, how you can change it up depending on the supplies that you have. And, uh, Rachel, uh, Roxy Creations, was inspired to make one after she saw my original video. Um, she made hers uh, holiday themed as well. And um, hers was a little bit larger than the one I'm making. But this one I kind of made so you can put it together quickly, share it with friends again, add, you know, load it with ephemera if you want to. You can also make it a photo album. You can use it as your December daily. Super easy and fun to make and so versatile. So as long as you have, you know, some paper bags you know, laying around, which most of us seem to have, you can make this really super easy and quick. Um, if you haven't seen my other tutorials on using paper bags and making junk journals and other things with them, I will also link that one below. I have a playlist for those as well. Um, so I did have so much fun putting this together. Um, and again, I'm just showing you the, you know, the differences of, um, of how things look if you change the theme and then you just add your own, you know, pieces of things that you already have. Um, I still have to decorate this further, but I just want to show you so far what I've done. 
this shaker as well. I show you a full tutorial on how to make these and they're super easy. You don't need extra supplies. You probably already have every single piece at home to be able to make those. So I will link that below and also on my blog. And then, you know, I just made little pockets here. You can, you know, decorate as much as you want or leave it as is. And here again, I'm just thinking you could add a photo or a little note. Um, and then this is something that, you know, you can kind of see it doesn't have to be tucked away additional little pockets here and there as usual. So the other thing after I finish showing you this, um, a quick tip on using your metal dies. Now I got stuck with a large one that I recently received. Um, I didn't check on the size before I got it. And then I just, I got stuck. I didn't know how to use it because my machine was, you know, would not be able to use it. So let me show you how to quickly use up any die and you can just, um, you know, cut it out yourself at home without even needing to have a machine to do it. Super fun and easy tip. So an awesome subscriber, Beverly Nielsen. Thank you so much, Beverly, for taking the time to find this for me. She saw that I was having trouble with this um, large metal die. It would not fit on my machine and I was kind of sad because I thought I was not going to be able to use it. So she said she found uh, a link to a video she had seen a while back on how to cut these metal dies um, and she sent it to me. Now initially everyone was saying use a, um, a pin like a rolling pin and Oh my gosh, I tried that and I think I almost broke my wrists. It just did not work out well at all. However, I was kind of doing it backwards. I have to say that. Um, and I'll explain that if I can in a minute. But I was able to do this with the video she showed me or she sent. And I don't remember the name of the lady, but I will link her video below. So Beverly, thank you so, so much for um, sending that video to me because it worked wonders. Um, the original video, the lady shared um, to use your um, bone folder. So you could certainly use a bone folder, but I thought I would use my metal um, ruler because I happen to have um, a couple of those. So I take these papers that are very thin, and I think you know which ones I'm talking about. They come in a really large pad, like, I don't know, 4,800 pieces of paper in there and they're super thin pieces so they work really well with this. Um, I'm placing my die on the um, pattern part so then this way I can see um, what I'm doing and so I'll take my metal um, ruler here. Now my um, bone folder is plastic and I thought if I run it the way that she suggested I might just end up breaking it or cutting it up. And then of course with the ruler, it's a little bit easier because it's sort of metal on metal in a way. Um, you do have to be careful with your pressure because of the paper itself. But here I'm just sort of running the ruler sideways um, and just feeling the actual die itself. Now see here, it takes a little bit longer with the um, bone folder. It still does a great job, but again, I just didn't want to cut it all up and, and then just sort of mess it up if I didn't have to and I figured of course the metal would be safer to use so it's just a matter of lining your um, you know your metal ruler and just going with the flow of your metal die so um, this is not very intricate so I think that it you know it works out better this way I wouldn't do this on very intricate dies but of course for those large ones that you know if you don't have the large machines this works so well so i am so happy that um, i'm able to use this even if it takes a little longer um, because now i can use this um, metal die and here i'm just um, double checking it doesn't cut um, all the way in some areas so you have to be very careful and then here's the inside part of the die which will you know become a closure and then the other side is a little opening that i have to cut out so you just have to be mindful of which metal die you're using, how intricate it is, and you know how much time you have. Um, but you know this works out well again if you don't have um, a larger machine. And you know why would you go out and purchase a larger one if it's just one die here or there that you'll be using? So 
anyways um, I'm just really uh, happy that I'm able to use this dye so again Beverly thank you so much for taking the time to let me know um, you know you're also wonderful there are so many of you that answer my questions and help each other when we have questions about something and so this was just very helpful to me and I really appreciate it um, and here I'm just kind of taking it off the um, the metal part now I did use this washi tape that's not um, very sticky I made sure that it just stuck enough so that it wouldn't rip my page apart and then here you see it's got the outlines already um, that we made in the center to be able to fold it over so like the score lines and then I'm just going to be gently cutting out the pieces to make the pocket so anyways this die is from uh, in love arts i do have um, a link to all their supplies in my unboxing videos if you wanted to see where this came from i will have it there as well um, and so again i just i hope this was also helpful the tip was very helpful to me so i thought i would share it with all my subscribers okay my friends i think this is it for now i hope you enjoyed the shares for today i'm hoping to do more videos like this going forward just sharing what i've made if i already have tutorials i will link those below for sure um and if you have any other you know suggestions on what other types of tutorials you would like to see let me know i'm always uh, looking for more things to share with all of you and um, if there's a way that i can help you out i'll definitely do that Alrighty, thank you for joining me and i will see you next time thanks so much for stopping by